Can you imagine passing this Chevy-powered vehicle on the highway and wondering, what is this thing used for? I really always wanted to do the space rocket jump because uh, the jump man in the show seemed like uh, he was always the star of the show and uh, he had a lot of respect from everybody else. So when I was 20 and did it for the first time, I was glad to get the chance and I felt like I was finally the star of the show. This particular rocket was built in 1966, literally by hand, by my dad. And he did all the welding on it, he did all the design of it. It's 20 feet long. It's eight feet at the widest. The tracks inside are on nearer the floor and they only give about an inch and a half of clearance for the car to fit through. Before the rocket car became the Chitwood finale, Joey tried a host of experimental jumps with every kind of car. watched what he did, watched how he got his speed, and how he accelerated, how the speedometer reacted. It's really something you got to develop your own feel for, and there's really no way of practicing. You just got to do it, and you just hope the first few go all right, where you can continue. First jump was about the best jump I've ever done. Uh, I was concentrating so much on my speed and, and obviously in my alignment that I, the car floated through the air and I didn't even feel it land. So I don't know if the jump was that good or if I was thinking about something else or was so scared, I don't know which, but I never even felt the car land. That's the only time that's ever happened. Usually it's a pretty good shot when you land. focus on the left-hand runner when I'm coming down there. If you get your, uh, if, the, if the wheel lines up right on the red line on the left side, obviously it'll fall into place on the right. So you only, I only look at one side. like a baseball pitcher. He can't really aim his pitches. He has to just rear back and kind of fire. If you start thinking about it and aiming, then that's when you start hitting the sides. Now, you can hit the sides and still do a real good jump. It just depends how hard you hit them. If you scrub enough speed off, then obviously you could be short and, and, and hit the end of the ramp, which would not be good. I've done about 1,800 jumps and I've missed five of them. Missed five. White totaled the car, hit the end of the ramp, did two endos one time. Uh, totally short. It didn't flip. It just crashed right into the ramp and tore the whole front end off. I uh, went off to the side a couple times and uh, destroyed the ramp in the car. We're going 47 miles an hour, and it's a 65-foot jump. Within a half a mile an hour, one way or the other, to a good landing. I mean, the car might withstand a mile an hour over, but it does hurt it, and of course it could hurt me or my back, so it has to be right on.
For over 50 years, the Chipwood family has dedicated itself to you, the spectator, and will continue to do so for generations to come.